Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the game Doronpa for the PS1. This is an arcade game that also received a port to the Sega Saturn. This port is more accurate than the Saturn port. The game is a bullet hell shump which was only released in Japan and features lots of maniac action with lots of bullets on the screen, which is pretty impressive for a PS1 game. You can pick three types of ships and two types of lasers and each one is all fired in the same way. You pick the ship, you hit the shot button, you can tap it to fire a rapid shot, which is the normal shot, or you can hold it down to fire a laser, which slows your ship down. You can also collect power-ups, which power them up. If you die, you get a maximum power-up, which gives you the max. There are also bombs you can pick up, which you can use to bomb enemies as well. The game is known for an extreme difficulty curve because you have to destroy lots of enemies and because of all the bullets, you can bump into them. Not only that, but since it's an arcade game, they designed it to be as hard as possible so you can credit feed it. Credit feeding will not give you the high score, however, as the score will reset every time you credit feed. Speaking of the scoring, the scoring is a unique system where you can hold it down and fire and get hit combos like in a fighting game. There are also other objects you can collect such as stars which you get from killing enemies and in boss battles and bees which are hidden in certain parts of the level and you have to shoot them. When you collect so many bees along with gaining a certain amount of points and not dying so many times then you can get to the second loop of the game which is extremely hard. It's hard to get to it in the first place, and then you'll get the final boss battle, which is also extremely hard. There are videos of it on YouTube, and trust me, half the time people can't even beat it because it's just that hard. In no way is it cheap, however. The AI doesn't cheat, nor does it try to do stuff to make you die. There are also no glitches, so that you can't die because of some random glitch that just killed you or because the game slowed down. The game does have slowdown, but either it's when you're pressing the slowdown button, or it's program slowdown to help you through those incredibly tough boss fights because they'd be impossible without slowdown. I mean, seriously, just look at the hard videos of like their other games. To pise the hardness, the game is actually pretty fun. You can also do co-op with the second player, so you can beat these hard levels with a friend while dying a lot. And now on to the technical stuff. The graphics are pretty good for a PS1 game. As you can see, that not only are there lots of enemies on the screen with little slowdown, but there are also lots of bullets too, and when there are lots of them on the screen, the game just runs. The music is also pretty memorable too. After playing the game enough, you will memorize the stage themes, and you'll have them just burnt in your head from all these playthroughs. I mean, the music is kind of cheesy, but it fits the game actually pretty well. The game is exactly like the arcade version in terms of technical things. The graphics look the same, the gameplay plays the same, however there are a few features that are omitted. For example, stage select, you can't just stage select. There is also no practice mode like many other console ports of these games. However, there is one other feature that's annoying, if you do it. When you tilt the TV, you can only pick one type of ship, and you have to go in and set the ship in the options menu. If you're playing like I am though, you won't need to worry about that. As you can see, I'm playing via the normal mode, which is letterbox. All in all, this is an awesome game. I cannot recommend this game enough. It's on the Japanese PSN for this 600 yen, so get this game and have a blast. Literally. One more thing before I end. This game got a bunch of sequels on other systems and the arcade. This game has had several sequels which are even harder than this, and the newest one is going to come out soon, maybe this year. But yeah, just get this game. Anyways, thanks for watching, and this game is much better than Tohu, because Tohu's for noobs.